schools, of course, play such an important role, not just in our students' lives, but of course in their families' lives too. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things uh, that set up students for success need to happen before they even start young fives or even kindergarten. That's right, Nicole. And there's one local program working tirelessly to make sure kids and their families are given the resources they need to achieve success. So our very own Claudia Sella is at the Capital Area Community Services Head Start located in Lansing to tell us how they do it and why their work is so important. So Claudia, tell us, how's it going? So just to put that into numbers about how many children they help, 23,000 children in Michigan have support from Head Start. Let me repeat that, that's 23,000 families and children being impacted by Head Start. Just how many lives are being changed because of this amazing place. And that's why this month our station has partnered with Head Start and teamed up for the month of May's Make an Impact campaign because of the impact they have in children's lives right here in our community. And I'm here with Mandy and Bethany from Head Start in Lansing to talk about why that's so important and how you can be a part of helping. But first, let's start with the basics. So for those who don't know, who are you and what is Head Start all about? So my name is Bethany Griffin. I am the education manager and Head Start really is about creating this environment where children can thrive based on the holistic approach of the child. So not just education, but nutrition and health services um, and just really making sure that we prepare children for success in school and life. Yeah, and, and why is that so important? Because, you know, like when we think about school, we think about either starting in, in young fives or kindergarten, but so much of the important stuff starts before then. So why is it so important to start before that? So here at Head Start, we start with birth to five, and we ha our program is comprehensive, serving the whole child and family. And we support a curriculum that helps address not just the ABCs and one, two, threes of the children, but also the social emotional learning. We know right now coming like post pandemic, like what our kids are going through, what our families might be going through. And we know that having kids come into their first day of kindergarten, they might not be able to sit at a chair and listen to a long group time. So that's what we work on is we sit down, we extend their learning and talk to them about um, you know, reading and then we start getting into the one, two, threes. We do a lot of play-based learning and just a whole uh, exploration and, and kind of a way to get them to um, investigate what's happening around them. And then we sneak in those ABCs and one, two, threes so they are ready. Yeah, absolutely. And right here in our community, why, what are some of the needs that you guys are meeting in our community when it comes to these younger ages? Yeah. So I would say, um, like I talked about, that holistic approach. So um, a lot of children, if they come to the program, you know, we serve them breakfast, we serve them lunch, we serve them a snack before they go home. So making sure that those things are taken care of. Um, we partner with a lot of great uh, community partners. So we have child care partners that we partner with, um, as well as our very own Capital Area Community Services um, that does food deliveries and that, th that type of stuff. So. That's absolutely wonderful. Well, thank you so much both for talking with me. Um, we're going to actually take it back to the studio now, but stay with us because I will be here. And next up, we're going to talk about how they're helping these students and how you can be a part of that too. But right now, it's time to go back to the studio because it's recess time. <laughs> <laughs> recess, I love that. Thanks love so much, it. Claudia.